Hi, welcome to WP Symposium Pro demonstration or tutorial on how to initially set up the plugin from scratch. So this is a completely new WordPress website version 3.9, 3.91, um, and we're going to add the plugin from scratch. No other plugins exist on this website. So I'm going to search for WP Symposium Pro under my plugins add new. It finds it and I can install. It downloads the plugin from wordpress.org repository onto the website and once on I activate the plugin. The plugin then appears on my list of plugins on this website. New menu item WS Pro and I want to go there and click on setup to start creating my social network. There are two quick start buttons, add profile pages, we'll add four pages to our WordPress website one for page, edit profile page, one for change avatar and one for friends. Don't do it more than once, you'll get multiple pages. But what you do want to do is add it to your WordPress menu. I don't currently have a WordPress menu set up for this website as it's a brand new installation. So I'm going to change the menu name and create my new menu. It's popped my new pages on there already so that's fine but what I am going to do is just rearrange them so that it's more logical for the user experiencing some fun moving them around so bear with me while I wrestle with the menu organization there we go and change avatar so I now have my menu structure and I can save the menu with WordPress menus I need to tell the theme where the menu will appear so I do so select main menu from my primary menu I'm using the 2012 theme here save the menu and go back to the site and there's profile in the menu with my other pages click on profile and there we have a fairly simple but running profile page I'll just pop a post on there to my activity and I'll pop a reply so we have a profile page with activity up and running there are other pages such as edit profile which allows you to change basic bits and pieces and you can change an avatar which I'll do I'll just upload, upload any image just to select an area for my avatar this is where I wish I was <laughs> so I crop part of the picture to become my avatar on the site edit profile allows basic fields so I'm going to put in there a email address and my town, city and country. You can add more fields yourself with plugins available at wpsymposiumpro.com but this will get us up and running because now I have a location it shows a map of my profile page. Friends, well I don't have any yet but that's where they would appear. So that's my profile page is set up so let's add a forum. So back to WPS Pro menu Oh no, I'm going to quickly change the permalinks before I do that. This just gets rid of the page ID equals 2 or something on your website. Um, I'd far rather have slash profile for my profile page. So I always use postname for my, my permalink settings. And I'll come back to that in a second with the forum. So changing my permalinks, I can now go back to WPS Pro Setup and add a forum. Type in the name of a new forum and type in a description. I publish that and it creates a new page for my forum and if I had the forum role security I could fine tune permissions but I don't so I'm just going to go ahead and add my new WordPress page to my menu and just rearrange it slightly so pop back to my site and my new forum is available I can add a new post and a topic Notice that the styles here match the 2012 theme. If you have a different theme, it may well change to match your theme. That's how it's designed to work. You can always change all of the styles for Symposium Pro, um, but by default the styles are fairly simplistic, so it should pick up the, the styles of your theme. So that's a forum post on my new forum. And just before we finish this tutorial, I'm just going to take you through a couple of other bits and pieces just to show you some things like the pages that are created 
by WP Symposium Pro Quick Start buttons and the use of short codes. If we edit the profile page you'll see that on there is just a short code. And you'll also notice that using permalink setting to post name it's slash profile and not um, an ugly URL. So there's a short code. WPS activity page will show the default activity page. You can lay it out in other ways and we'll cover that in different tutorials if you want to design your own page. Friends page with a count of 100, so your maximum of 100 friends. Edit profile and change avatar. These short codes are all explained on the WPSymposiumPro.com website. The forum one here is slightly more interesting in that you have the short code, WPS forum page, but you have the option of slug equals, and here, my new forum with hyphens. Take a note of my new forum with hyphens, and if we go to forum setup under WPS Pro to have a look at the forum itself, we can see here there's my new forum and there's the slug and they have to match. So if you wanted to show a different forum, if you had multiple, you would change the slug on the WordPress page. A couple of other nice features just to quickly show you. If I add a couple of new activity posts, and maybe you have an important post which you want people to see at the top of your page. So under the settings here you can click stick and it will move the post up to the top of your activity. So now however many activity posts you have it will always appear at the top with even new ones appearing underneath. And then I can unstick it and refresh the page and it will appear down the bottom where it was before. Thanks for watching. There are many more tutorials available on wpsymposiumpro.com on the videos forum.